Hi, Plus, and welcome back to my channel at Bobby Stroke Row 444. I'm going to do another law read because that last one was about Twin Flame, and if you're not in a Twin Flame connection, then it's probably not going to be for you. So uh, let's uh, pull again from the love deck here, the good, the bad, and the ugly. I call it the love deck. And uh, see what messages that we get for you guys. Hopefully we'll get something better, okay? Now that energy was kind of iffy. I feel a little bit better now, so let's try and get some messages here. Hopefully we get something good. I saw somebody wants a new beginning and some passion here, so let's see. Who is this collective that wants a new beginning and some passion? Only take what resonates for you, collective, and leave the rest. Check with other readers. Check some of the other videos. Maybe there'll be messages in there for you. Ooh, somebody definitely wants your attention, or they're wanting attention. Yes, I've got this, like, really energetic um, energy right now I'm feeling. All that we have been through and all that we still can be. Let's give our love one more chance. Somebody wants a second chance here. They want some attention. They want some of that passion. Oh, it's a lesson. Learn and move on. Somebody's saying, yeah, I've learned my lesson here. I don't know if I, I'm big on all that attention. So I'm un unapologetic. So if somebody here is unapologetic. They just uh, are out for themselves. A little selfishness here going on. Grass is not so green. You know, play, 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 ya. Somebody batter up. <laughs> You're batter up. So I don't know what that's for, but I mean, maybe somebody likes to play baseball here. I mean, somebody could be a pro at this. I mean, it, 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 they could be a professional player, literally. Okay, so uh, we've got Reaper, okay? They call him the Reaper. I don't know. I feel like this is like a smooth operator, though. It could be just, you know, reaping what they sow, especially if the grass wasn't so green. You know, uh, getting all that detention, you know, they could have got something else, you know, in turn here, whether it's something they can get rid of or it's something that they can't get rid of. We got jealous energy around. I still get jealous. So somebody's jealous here. I want to conquer you all over and over again. You know, they want to come in. They want that passion. They're jealous. They don't want you to be with anybody else, but they also uh, are over there attending to other grasses. You know, we got the jackpot here. So somebody found the jackpot with you, Collective. Jackpot, jackpot. I hear uh, somebody could be at the casino right now or could have went to the casino here this weekend. I heard that in the last reading that with a twin plant because you're a blessing. You're a blessing to this person, Collective, whoever this is. Maybe you're getting a blessing. Maybe you've just received a blessing. This could also be a child, a blessing. Uh, a child is a blessing here. We've got Gemini, energy, October. And it could be a Libra or something happened in October here with the Gemini. Uh, pregnancy, pregnant. Somebody said that they were pregnant. This Gemini here, tender love, swipe right. Oh, okay, so somebody on tender uh, had a blessing. Congratulations to you. Okay, we have things moving too fast. I don't want to know how to trust how I feel. So somebody doesn't know how to trust how I feel, but they, you know, like their player ways here. They uh, got into some different colored grass and got themselves stuck with a pregnancy on, you know, the, some tender love here. Just a one-nighter maybe. I don't know. But now they have a blessing, this beautiful blessing. That's amazing. Okay. Good for you, whoever this is. Uh, a healthy bundle of joy right okay we have on repeat so somebody's definitely on repeat serial dating or you know out for attention someone very jealous jealous energy here <sighs> different accounts on a dating app so somebody can have different accounts on a dating app all right we have upgrade you somebody wants to upgrade you or you upgraded or somebody tried to upgrade or somebody wants an upgrade we got addictions okay isn't that a Beyonce song, Upgrade You or something? Maybe Beyonce has something to do with it. I, mean, I don't know. I'm getting pole dancing here, too. Pull five cards from the karmic deck. Okay, we got a karmic energy, even though this is not coming out as a twin flame or a soulmate reading here. We, October wants to come out. Definitely a Libra. Something happened in October. Could have been this pregnancy here was announced. All right, removing obstacles. Somebody's removing some obstacles, getting them out of the way. Or they're saying because they want an upgrade. Uh, we got make an offer. Somebody wants to make an offer. And I got that with that twin flame. Definitely I'm coming back to it. I guess the twin flame journey is what it is today. Okay. So 
somebody wants to make you an offer, you know, they want an upgrade, going through a breakup. So somebody's going through a breakup. It could be with a Gemini. It does not have to be. It's an energy. Somebody could just have Gemini in their chart. You could be this Gemini. Somebody's dealing with the devil right now. The de Gemini could be the devil here. Somebody in devilish energy, toxic energy. Could have been some lies here, manipulation. Stop pressuring me right now. Somebody's saying, leave me alone. Get away from me. Stop picking at me. Leave me alone. I'm done. So I don't know. I'm getting that energy like I'm done. We got addictions. Somebody could be uh, enticing someone with addictions. Uh, it, it doesn't have to be drugs and alcohol. It could just be addicted to a person not wanting to let go. Just in a toxic way. Obsessions. You made your bed. Now you lay in it. So somebody's... You're saying this to this person or uh, somebody else, does this Gemini or something is saying this to this person or somebody made their bed. Now they got to lay in it. Now they've got, a, you know, 18 to life here with the what is that, Guns and Roses or something, 18 to life, Skid Row. They're down on, they're on Skid Row. <laughs> Pisces energy, Gemini and a Pisces. Something could have happened in Pisces season. That would have been like five months. Something happened. Something may happen in Gemini season here. This baby could be due in May. Could be due in April or May. If it has, if the baby has not came yet. Okay. Um, the blessing. We have photos and videos, so they've got some evidence here. Or somebody's looking at your photos and venom. Uh, and venom. Somebody's got some venom here. We got the enemy. Because this snake energy here, <sighs> tarot reader revealed you are my true love, and this person's wanting romance now. A bad romance. So somebody could have been dealing with a bad romance. Yeah, secrets and lies. How about it? Tell me lies. Tell me sweet little lies. Tell me lies. Tell me, tell me lies. Somebody likes to lie. Yeah, it's fun, they said. See in the light. Somebody may be seeing the light. I saw the light. I've been baptized. Somebody got baptized or somebody's thinking about getting baptized. We have releasing old patterns or behaviors. And somebody definitely wants a new beginning here. So they're seeing the light. Somebody had a come to Jesus moment, I guess. I don't know. All right. We have big money moves. Somebody wanting to. Ooh, that's some Tom Hanks energy here. I'm feeling like some. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Somebody wants to take a spin on the big wheel. Trapped you with a baby. Yeah, somebody got trapped with a baby. A Gemini or a Pisces here. Either they did it. This, either a Gemini or Pisces did this. Or you're the Gemini or the Pisces. Or the person you're dealing with a Gemini or Pisces. They could be a Libra also. Um, let's see. We got using friends to figure you out. Okay, so you're being watched. Somebody's keeping an eye on you. Making sure you're not going anywhere. So they're using the friend, their friends to try and figure you out because you're different. You've changed you, since this connection. Uh, if you're not with this person right now, their biggest mistake was to think they'd be okay with without you when they're not. They miss you. So they miss you. They, they're heartless at the time. Didn't care about anything except for attention. Your laugh is contagious. Yeah, they're trying to watch you here. Especially if you have a platform. I got people listening to me too. You know, it is what it is. Whatever, right? We have read between the lines. So let them watch. You know, maybe they'll learn something here. Read, somebody needs to read between the lines or somebody's seen the line. Seen the line. Okay. Maybe somebody needs to follow the line, whatever that is. Okay. This could be a military person. I don't know. But seeing between the lines, seeing the light now, you know, seeing something from, you know, finally waking up here. Whatever's going on, PTSD could be significant. Somebody could have that. It doesn't, uh, you know, it takes a traumatic event. It doesn't necessarily have to take a traumatic event to have PTSD. We're all subject to that. Okay, we have bomb.com. So you're being seen collective is the bomb.com. Good energy, right? <laughs> waiting for someone like you somebody's still waiting for someone like you or they have been waiting for someone like you i hear that someone like you um lots 
Stewart. Makes it hard to live without somebody else. Someone like you. Okay. Thursday could be significant. Something could have happened this past Thursday. Maybe something will happen this coming Thursday. Thursday is significant here. Uh, okay, paranoid. I'm not paranoid. Yeah, they're paranoid right now. There ain't no protection. This person wasn't using no protection. They got a blessing, a beautiful blessing. And uh, now they're stuck, paranoid, in their head. What do I do? What do I do? What do I do? Where do I go from here? How am I going to afford this child? Depending on what kind of work this person's doing. I don't know. We got a water sign and a fire sign in cahoots. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. We got double Pisces here. And we got um, Aries, Leo, Sag. And we got Gemini. And um, also Libra. How did I get so lucky? See, someone's looking towards the lucky collective here. You're the lucky charm. You're the leprechaun, okay? So they're coming for the leprechaun. All right, I get lost in your eyes. They neglected this connection between you and them, okay? Get lost in your eyes. They are mesmerizing. Oh, gosh. I get lost in your eyes. Debbie Gibson here. We got some Debbie Gibson going on. All right, we have saying you left them because the, uh, they're saying that you left them so they don't feel guilty. Okay, so maybe you left this person. Well, they're turning around on you and saying that you left them so they don't have to feel guilty about it, you know? So that's what they're telling their friends. All right, they can tell them whatever they want to tell them, right, Collective? Believe whatever they want to believe. They say, I'm coming back because they want attention. They want passion. They want a new beginning here. But you're saying it's a lesson, learn and move on. Okay, that's what I feel like. June, Cancerian energy here. Um, yeah, I don't feel like it could be a coincidence. Since this was not a coincidence, I do not feel that. So also, um, the number sixes could be significant here if you've been seeing 666. All right, let me, one more, one more time. And then I'll pull from that karmic deck because we had a karmic come out coping mechanism we definitely have addictions here somebody's dealing with it could be attention that's what their coping mechanism mechanism i can't even talk right now this person doesn't even want me to talk all right so they could be uh, attention seeking as a coping mechanism you know and a way to feel better you know a feel good moment or it could be addictions it could be sexual addictions it could be alcohol drugs just toxic just toxic behaviors uh, overindulging I can do anything without I can't do anything without thinking of you this person is thinking of you all the time everything I do I do it for you somebody's saying that Brian that somebody's listening to Brian Adams everything I do I do it for you somebody wants to come in like a Robin Hood you know Captain save a hoe here we got relationship is over so um, collective you're saying that this relationship is over or it has been over for a while um, or maybe it just recently has been over. I study you so I can be just like you. Maybe somebody's learning. Maybe they need to learn. Maybe they need to grow up a little bit here. Uh, a lot of childish energy, real deal, because you're the real deal. I study you because you're real. You're a real person. This person doesn't know what a real person is like. They, they play fake. They don't know how to be themselves, so they be different people. They they play the role. Whatever room they're in, they work the room. Don't take it personal. That's what they're saying. Don't take it personal. You know, it is what it is, you know. People are who are they go who they're gonna be. You know, we can't change that, so it is what it is. Let's see. I'm sorry I hurt you, so this person even though they're say I, they're unapologetic, you got a fake apology coming out saying that I'm sorry I hurt you, but they still want your passion. Okay, yeah, I, I'm sorry I hurt you. Apology, but they're unapologetic. Maybe they haven't apologized in the past. They were unapologetic. Maybe now they are apologetic since they've seen the light here. They've seen things from a different perspective. Okay, they realize that you know. They, they made some type of error in judgment here in their ways. I don't know. It's It could have been just mental illness. This person was dealing with um, post-traumatic stress disorder. A lot of stressors. They could have been dealing with, you know, overwhelming situations in their life. It's going to be 
different for all of you, but this person is saying that they're sorry and they want to apologize. All right, let's see. We got work from home. So maybe you work from home. Maybe you and this person work from home. Maybe this person was getting attention, you know, from home, working from home on Tinder. We got air sign and earth sign in cahoots. Again here, um, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, energy. And we have um, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. We got some fake identity fraud. We got some ID fraud that somebody's dealing with here. It's going to have something to do with tender dating. You know, somebody um, stealing somebody's IDs or just stealing from people in general. And this could be time, energy, money, okay? Uh, intimacy. It's just, take it as, you know, take it as it is. The thought of losing you feel like living in a world with nowhere to breathe. We got a fish over here, so somebody could have got catfished. Uh, I want to know how you feel. Do you feel, do you love me too? So this person's like, oh, this is puppy love here. We got some puppy love. They want to know if you love them. Stop blabbing to others about my past. So they're telling me to stop blabbing to others about this person's past because they don't want it getting out, but that's too bad because the messages are coming out. You make my heart melt. So this person is saying that you're... Um, you're very sweet and you have touched a place in them that nobody has touched before. Okay. And uh, that being on a platonic level, okay. In the heart. Okay. Whether this person was closed off or not, this you're making, you're opening this person up. Okay. It's like, um, uh, you've turned their heart of stone to nothing but mush. Can we just kiss all night? I love the way your lips caress mine. So this person is a kisser and they want to kiss all over you because they're wanting this attention. I love you more than you will ever know. Something happened on uh, Thursday, maybe Tuesday, this Tuesday, this Thursday. So just keep an eye out. We got sunrise, sunset, but this person's like day and night with this. I, it could be a yin and yang person balancing that out. Sunrises or sunset could be um, significant. Maybe you shared something like that together. Maybe there was pictures. Um, also, day and night with this person. It's like dealing with Jekyll and Hyde. You never really knew who they were. Hiding, personifying who they are. Playing different roles. Not my problem. So your collective is saying is not my problem because they're saying be patient. And you're like, nope, not my problem. I think you've been patient enough with this person. Maybe you've given them enough time. They want to rebuild trust between us, okay? So collective, they want to rebuild the trust here. They know that they broke your trust. All right, let's see. What else do they want to hesitate? And they, yeah, they're holding back because they're scared. Lay you down. Yeah, they want to lay you down the bed of roses because they want that attention. They want the passion. Made you an option. Now that now you have options, okay? So this person made you an option. And now you have options, Collective. How uh, ironic is that? Isn't it ironic, don't you think? It's like rain on your wedding day, right? Yeah, blinded to the truth. This person's blinded, was blinded to the truth because they're saying they've seen the light now. So, whew. All right. Yeah, at first they were only attracted to you, but now they're in love with you, they're saying, okay? And uh, there's some unexpected delays that this person's dealing with. It could be the cleaning up all this mess. It could be dealing with a pregnancy. It could be a new baby here. It could be figuring out finances, um, their stability right now before they try and come back because they're wanting the attention. So they were blinded, blinded by the light. Wake up like a douche and the roller in the night. Yes, yeah, someone is rolling in the night. Rolling out in the night. Yes, they were for attention. We got a night runner. Night runner. All right, let's get some of this. I got five cards from the karmic deck, so let's pull five cards here and see what's going on with the karmic. Even though this is not a twin flame, it could be a higher level soulmate connection here, collective. Let's see what the karma is because there's a lot of addictions here. All right, we got taking a spin on the karmic wheel. So somebody's spinning that wheel around, you know, Russian roulette over there. We got karmic is boring in bed. So this person is boring in bed. That's why they need your attention because you're fulfilling what need needs to be fulfilled in that time. 
before this person is off to the next one, the next best thing, right? So, let's see. Yeah, they're afraid of you. They're shaking in their boots. Whatever you're doing, collective, this person's afraid. They're scared. We've, they're abandoned, alone, and scared. Yeah, they're stuck, feeling abandoned, feeling alone. Maybe they are by themselves right now, but they're scared because they're having nightmares. They can't sleep. They can't eat. They can't think. They're also dealing with um, PTSD issues, possibly one or more individuals around. Or could be this is karmic. Um, misery loves company. All right, let's see if I can get one. We got five there. Let's see if I can get one or two more. Let's see. Friends with benefits. Somebody wants friends with benefits or somebody has friends with benefits. This karmic could have been a friends with benefits type deal. They could have been a friend, and, you know. They just didn't care. It was just something to, you know, the heat. It was the heat of the moment. This person can't control their impulses, their sexual impulses. They're playing with fire. Playing with fire. They can't control themselves. Lack of self-control here. Oh. All right, and we have, I. this person says they fucked up Roy. They played themselves. And they say uh, bros before hoes. So they could have uh, got some information from their bros or advice from their bros. and Or it was just about the attention. You know, it was because the bros is doing it. I'm going to do it too, right? You know, following the crowd. You know, being part of the sheep here. So that's what this person did here, uh, Collective. So uh, those are the messages I have for you. Hopefully uh, this love reading resonated with you. Like I said, I can't guarantee what comes out. You know, it just is what it is. So that's the energy right now. If it resonated, please leave me a comment below. I appreciate all your love and support for my channel. And I thank you for your feedback. Thank you to all my supporters out there um, and the new subscribers. Thank you so much. And all my original subscribers, thank you for, for being here. I do appreciate all of you. I hope you have a wonderful day. Take care.